Hey everybody, Buddy Ray, Operations Manager with Joe's Carding here in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Here in the last few months, you've seen us do videos about the best of the best 20 cart 30 minute endurance race that's held the first Monday of every month. Now, I want to revisit this format a little bit because we've had a major rules amendment within the last week. To qualify for this race, simply put, you just come in, you buy a 16 lap race. At the end of the month, the top 20 fastest lap times are your qualifiers and only those top 20 individuals are allowed to run in the exclusive 20 cart 30 minute endurance race. A good way to find out where you're at on that list is go to joescarting.com and you can just look up monthly stats and it should have the top 100. At the top 100, look on the last day of the month, and I tell everybody usually 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, look at the top 100 and if you're in the top 20, there's a pretty good chance you qualified for that big race. We've ran six or seven of these races, but we've had the same two, three, four individuals uh, win these races. So back in January, we ran the January race the first Monday in February. It's always one month, you know, after. So the February race was ran in March, the March race was ran in April. If you win that race, you win 10 free races to Joe's Karting, and you have bragging rights to be the best of the best for that month. Well, if you go the whole calendar year, we will then take those winners, and now we have the best of the best for the year. And that will be in uh, January the following year. So 2015, it'll be January 2016 that we will run the best of the best with those individuals that have won the monthly shows. But the problem is, is we only had two or three, maybe four people win in those monthly shows. And the best racers out here, they don't want to race against two or three or four. They want to race against 12. And they want to race against the top 12 best individuals that we've got to offer. What I've done is I went all the way back to January. I looked at January's results, which were run in February. So the first Monday in February, I looked at that race. And that person who won is automatically in the year race. So then I went to March, which we were ran the February race then. I looked at that individual, he's in the race. So what I've done now is that they've won a lot of these races, but I went down the list, and when I went down the list, I took the highest finishing person that wasn't one of the people that already qualified for the year, and that's what I'm doing. So I had a lot of third place guys. They didn't win the monthly, portion of it but if you're in third place in the top two already qualified for the year the group agreed within the last week all my racers um, staff that we could do that and we could take the highest finishing person so now as of the end of July I have seven people and when you look at the result times it is incredible we changed the track back in March uh, January February uh, the track was you know, 15.02, 15 seconds flat. Well, then in March, we changed the track. From April through the first week of August, those winners are all separated by less than one-tenth of a second, running 14.5 to 14.6 second lap times. And we now have the best of the best. So we will have 12 unique individual winners going to a yearly race come January 2016. Also, stay tuned, because here in the next few months, there will be some more rules amendments for the 2016 Best of the Best. So come on in here, qualify, get in this big 20-cart, 30-minute endurance race, and hopefully we can see you beginning of the month, or maybe we can see you at the end of the year. We'll be waiting.